Hey guys and welcome back. I'm Dr. Deuce and today I'm going to be giving you an overview of the amazing classic vintage compressor circuit types that come natively as part of Logic Pro X. Now far too often I've seen serious Logic users just pull up Logic's standard platinum digital compressor when they want to control the dynamics of an instrument or a voice. However, that's just part of the story and I'm hopeful that this short video will shed some light on the amazing power of the six incredible emulations that come with Logic. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so this is Logic's classic platinum digital compressor, which delivers superb results on pretty much everything you pass through it. Now compressing with this unit is extremely clean and transparent with a super fast transient response. However, if you want to add a bit of analog grit, you can always use the distortion section over here to simulate an analog compressor. Now overall, the Platinum Digital is an awesome compressor that's always going to give you some great results. But let's check out the other compressor circuit types in the set. Now for one of my favorites, the Studio VCA. Now this is a fantastic emulation of an award-winning hardware device, the Focusrite RED3 Dual Compressor Limiter. Now this hardware device was released during the mid 90s and used on many a hit record. Now one of the things I really like about the Studio VCA is the natural sound it delivers even when a lot of compression has been applied. You can achieve a really clean sound without too much colour. And of course by engaging the distortion section you can get that great analogue sound that you really like. Now I really enjoy using the Studio VCA circuit type especially when it comes to sidechain compression. It's also fantastic on group buses and the master stereo bus due to its fast transient response time. Now, I've also found it to be great on vocals, guitars and basses. So if you want to maintain some level of transparency without too much color, but with nice tight compression, then definitely the Studio VCA is one that you should look at. Now, if you were to ask a hundred professional studio engineers or producers, which hardware compressor they'd most desire in their studio right now, chances are the majority will say the Universal Audio 1176. Now since the late 1960s, the Yuri 1176 has been an absolute must in every top level studio. Now the Studio FET is an emulation of the Yuri 1176 and to be honest it, it was a stroke of genius by the Logic Pro developers to include this circuit type in the software. Now this modeling of the 1176 is great because it emulates really well the super fast attack and release times for which the blackface is famed. Now the plugin definitely delivers that in your face energy when it's really driven hard. And this is one of the most distinctive features of the original hardware device. Now the Studio FET is great at taming drums as well as pushing your vocals right to the front of the mix. It's also great on guitars, basses and synths and well known as a go-to drum compressor. Try inserting this compressor into your channel strip without any compression applied and I assure you that your signal passing through the circuitry will definitely benefit. And now we come to the classic VCA circuit type which is modelled after an absolute gem of a device, the DBX160 compressor limiter. Now the DBX is well known for its amazing vintage characteristics. So what's great about this unit is that it provides an ultra fast response with punch and aggression and yet it's very easy to operate. Now the classic VCA is an absolute must on drums, whether on individual drums or on the drum group bus. Now I often use it as a parallel compressor to give me that drive and energy on either drums or synths or my overall mix. Essentially pretty much everything you put through it, especially vocals, if you want to add colour and warmth, then guitars, synths, basses, drums, whatever, they all will benefit from this circuit type. Now, as you can see, the classic VCA doesn't have attack or release knobs, which follows the design pattern of the DBX160's over-easy approach. So if you want that classic vintage sound with that warmth and drive of an old school compressor, then I'd say the classic VCA is the one to engage. Okay, so now we come to the vintage VCA circuit type, which is modeled on the world famous SSL 
G-Series bus compressor. Now, just like the hardware version, this software emulation works very much like a glue in pulling mixes together. Expect to get that punch, drive and clarity in your final mix when this is engaged on your master stereo bus. The vintage VCA is also great on drums, percussion and pianos, but if you want to add that fantastic analog summing to your tracks, then why not insert it into your group buses and benefit from that fantastic analog circuitry. Try out different distortion settings just to see how this unit colors your audio. Now, of course, the vintage VCA is going to be a wise choice on every single mix. Now, if you want to make your vocals sparkle, tame your drums or enhance your guitars and basses, then the vintage FET is definitely the way to go. This circuit type is modeled on the fantastic Uri 1176 Revision H compressor limiter. Now, this is also another legendary Uri 1176, also known as the Silverface, and is very likely to be found in every top level recording studio. And now you've got one at your disposal in the form of the vintage FET. Now, considering the fact that the Silverface has been used on countless hit records and classics over the last 50 years, it was an obvious decision to have a modeling of this unit in the Logic Compressor option list. Expect to get brightness, energy and presence from anything you put through this great emulation. Definitely try driving your drums hard through the plugin and see how they stand out. Now the Vintage Fet is always going to be found somewhere in my mixes, adding that special character to specific elements. And now for what I consider to be the daddy of them all, and my favourite circuit type for vocals, the Vintage Opto. Modelled on the legendary Teletronics LA2A optical compressor has a magical way of sprinkling that fairy dust on top of your vocals and it's respected by every top producer and engineer. Now the Vintage Opto is going to give you that tried and proven smooth musical compression. So whether basses, drums, guitars, synths, vocals or anything else you put through this fantastic unit, you're very likely to get outstanding results. So I'd say it's definitely worthwhile experimenting and exploring with this circuit type because I'm pretty sure that you'll be really happy with the outcomes. Okay, so there you have it, a fantastic array of classic vintage compressor circuit types right there under your fingertips. However, I think it's gonna be really worthwhile you trying out all of these compressor circuit types on different types of material, whether it be vocals, drums, guitars or any other sound source. Now of course I take into account that there are some huge plugin developers out there such as Waves, IK Multimedia and Native Instruments who have great emulations of all of these compressors. But consider this, if you are getting the results without having to spend the extra bucks, which way are you going to go? Well I certainly know which way I'll go. Anyway I just want to thank you for watching this video and I'd really appreciate it if you were to like comment and subscribe to my channel. As always, I'll be back with more real soon. I'm Dr. Deuce. Peace.